Welcome to the 11th episode of Cooking for Wellness at NYU Langone Health. Today is a great day because we are joined by a very special guest, Dr. Fritz Francois, our Chief Medical Officer. Not only did he stop by to cook with us today, but he is going to share some amazing recipes from his Haitian heritage. Dr. Francois, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Jeff. It is an absolute pleasure to be here. We are going to make a very classic version of cornmeal or polenta with jean jean. Cornmeal or maïs is basically just ground up corn. And then you have the jean jean, which is black mushroom. It gives the, the dish so much flavor and it is a very, very important aspect of Haitian cooking. Cooking for Wellness at NYU Langone Health is always looking for interesting new, exciting ways to look at plant-based recipes. Let's get started. Okay, great. Well, Jeff, we talked about the mushrooms and what we're gonna do with these mushrooms, the John John, you take some of these mushrooms, put them in some water, just like so, and you're just going to wash them. You can take a strainer after you've washed them for a bit, looks like this, okay? And so we are going to put this in our broth. So this will simmer until the mushrooms themselves, and that seems not only a bit softer, but that the broth will take the exact, the distinctive color that you would see in when they were soaking. So it literally will change color. Okay, so we've now simmered these mushrooms in our broth for about two hours. It's developed into a real deep, dark, rich, aromatic mushroom broth. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our polenta. What we're gonna do is use some olive oil and we're going to saute some onions and we're gonna use some garlic Add that in there. So are we cooking this all the way to soft? You're just gonna sweat it a little bit, make okay. it a little bit soft. It doesn't take very long. So what's the next step? So the next step, we're gonna add our broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add two quarts of our mushroom broth. And by the way, just so you know, if you ask like, well, why is it that people use different types of broth? Like here we're using a vegetable broth. Well, you can make this dish and use a fish type of sock of broth and people use shrimp or other types of, uh, of seafood in it. Again, that's very cultural, but we're actually using a vegetable broth and everything you eat today actually that we're doing is really plant-based, okay. very healthy. Okay, so we let our broth come up to a nice gentle simmer. We're gonna go ahead and add our cornmeal. And as I'm adding, I'm going to stir this very slowly. We lowered that heat because you guys Just gotta be careful not to burn the bottom of that pot. That's correct. And the reason we do this is because if you don't stir it, if you don't whisk it, that it, it will clump. And again, this is an important aspect of Haitian cooking. You do not want lumps in your mai. <laughs> Trust me, you're, gonna get, you're getting kicked out of the house. That's, that's a thing. Sure. That's that a is thing. a thing. Okay. So we're gonna add some additional spices here, some cloves, and we'll have some of the thyme. Is this something that you have to just stand here and keep stirring the entire time? No, you don't. Once you get it started and you avoid those lungs, periodically you can come back to it, just stir a little bit. It's gonna take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on heat. It's better to go slow. If you pick it up, it should stick to the whisk. As a gastroenterologist, like, how does this dish play into Well, that? I love that question, Jeff. Both cornmeal and mushrooms are prebiotics. They have exactly the types of nutrients that you need that will stimulate the growth of good bacteria in your gut. So that means this is the exact type of recipe you want if you're interested in gut health. Where does a, the average person get these mushrooms? Oh, that, you know, that's a great question. You can get these mushrooms, and they are distinctive, as I said, like, no, but you can get them in the Caribbean markets that are uh, New, York, New York City boroughs. You can go to Brooklyn, various other places. So let's say you can't get to those markets. They do have these little cubes now that you can get. It has the flavors, like the same type of flavor. The only thing to be careful about, it, it can have a lot of salt and also MSG, uh, monosodium glutamate. It, you know, if you just- Almost like a to, bouillon cube. It is a bouillon cube, exactly. Okay. So we have one other final ingredient we're gonna go ahead and add. It is a ground flaxseed meal. Is it a traditional? Or? It's not traditional. Traditional 
maye or polenta, if you don't add this to it, it starts out creamy and kind of soft. But over a number of hours, uh, if you let it sit, it does harden. It becomes much thicker. By adding this to it, it will maintain that smooth and creamy consistency much longer. So it has benefits. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our vegetable garnish. We'll start with some olive oil. You got some olive oil here. So don't be afraid to let that pan get nice and hot. Yep. We're gonna put a nice sear and actually brown the mushroom. Okay, so our mushrooms are getting nice and brown. Yes. You add a little salt and pepper to that. We have some sliced scallion and some little cherry tomatoes we're gonna go ahead and add. We're not gonna cook the tomatoes down too much. We're just gonna give them a quick flash. Nice and colorful. Oh yeah. You know the colors here, Jeff? Just reminds me of the Caribbean, I gotta tell you. If I go and visit my parents and they're cooking this, this is a way for them to say, you're home. It is so, I mean, not only because of the aroma, but it's also because of the attention that they put in making this recipe. It's simple, it's not too complicated, but notice it's the way in which you, like you, you allow things to simmer. It's a little bit of time. And the different colors that are used in certain Haitian paintings with the reds and the yellows and how they bring certain things to life. So this is a type of meal that you would make if you just wanna have some comfort, just wanna make sure that there's no doubt you're home. To finish our meal today, Dr. Francois is also sharing his family recipe for pineapple upside down cake. And it's a big shout out to my wife, Joanne Francois, who made this. Dr. Francois, thank you so much for stopping by. Real pleasure, Jeff. Join us next month for our next Cooking for Wellness video. 